gentleman about uh, how to install WSJTX software for FT8 and other uh, digital modes on the older uh, iMac, old Apple computers because the new versions are not compatible and uh, the older versions also doesn't allow the shared uh, memory for installation so I would like to tell you how it has to done so uh, you have to go to this website I will put in the description to download the older version and uh, if you go to the website here is the link uh, where you can download the and you click that link and it will start downloading see when it's ready you just have to open it and uh, agree so the important thing is uh, that readme file has to be copied on the desktop and also the system configuration file has to be copied uh, through the desktop is very important you can uh, minimize this at the moment then you open the readme file why is it important because there is uh, some little uh, code written in this document which has to be run through the terminal so I'll tell you how to run it in order to create the shared me memory because WS JTX uh, uh, software is not on the uh, Apple App Store so uh, most of the time it doesn't recognize uh, the software which are downloaded from the internet so it blocks the shared memory but we have to enable it and there is a way so you uh, probably you see uh, you have to run these three commands one by one in the terminal so uh, copy first command completely copy then you open the terminal in the terminal you can just paste it and hit enter it will prompt the the password go ahead and uh, add your password and hit enter again and uh, password accepted now you have to uh, copy and paste the second command and go back to the terminal paste and hit enter that command also run and the, now the last one copy go back in terminal paste it and hit enter and after running this three commands you must have to reboot your Mac in order to these uh, uh, this uh, script has to make uh, changes in the system settings so I'm not gonna reboot it because I have already run these commands and uh, and for the video but uh, you must have to reboot it and after reboot when the Mac starts you have to uh, run this command on the terminal to verify if the script has made changes in the system settings so go ahead paste and enter and you see uh, it will tell you that it has created in the kernel level some shared memory which will allow and enable any software which is not downloaded from the Apple can run on the that particular Mac so after that uh, you just close it and close that one also and open and drag this into the application this WSJTX and you see it should be in the applications now yeah and now you can go ahead and trash these files or you can save them if you like but 
we are not needed anymore and here you start WS JTX for the first time it's verifying click open There you go. Your WS JTX is installed and uh, working with your older iMac. I hope you like the video and found it informative. Thank you.